Hello and in this tutorial or in this video I'm going to teach you release method release method uh, of dimensional analysis release method is one of the important methods of the dimensional analysis to determine the formula that relates one quantity to the other quantity now uh, the quantity for which we are determining the formula is called dependent quantity is called depend quantity and the quantities which uh, are on the right, uh, right hand side which forms the formula of the dependent quantity is called uh, independent quantities and uh, we will understand the entire method with the help of example rather than going uh, via some theoretical approach uh, so let us get started the question goes like this using release method Determine the rational formula for the power developed by the pump when power P depends upon the head H, discharge Q, and specific weight of the fluids. Now, in case, in case if you don't know any of these quantities, currently don't need to be worried. The power P, power is just power of the pump. It's simple. Head, the head is a uh, linear quantity and the unit of head is meter. Discharge is uh, amount of fluid flowing per unit time that is uh, volume of fluid flowing per unit time and specific weight is basically nothing but product of density and gravitational acceleration g. Okay, now I am I'm getting started with this method uh, from now onwards. So the very first step, very first step is to determine the dependent variable. Now the uh, the quantity for which you have to determine the power is called the dependent. Uh, sorry, the quantity for which you have to depend uh, determine the equation or the relation is called the dependent variable. Here it is clearly written that power p depends. So power p is the dependent quantity. P is dependent. In case it is not written such uh, in such clear words. Then also you don't need to be worried about it. You you can easily judge from the question that for which quantity you have to determine the relation, and rest of the quantities like H, Q, and W are independent independent quantities. Now, once you determine them, step two. We will go to step two. Now we will represent dependent quantity, the function of independent quantity. Further, we will write it as p is equal to k h raised to a plus q raised to p and w raised to c. So we are writing this functional relation as an exponential relation where k is some constant. k is some constant. Now, now we will move to step 3. Now once we have this, we will replace each of the quantities by their dimensions. That is power power is p now how to determine the dimensions if you don't know i am going to, and just, just teaching you how to determine the dimensions over here suppose the power is p now what is power it is the rate of doing work that is energy per time now energy now any any form of energy will have all same dimension i am going to choose kinetic energy so one of mv square upon t you can write the formula of uh, potential energy too, that is uh, mgh, and you will realize that the answer, that is the dimensions, will remain same, be it any form of energy, if, even if it is electrical energy or any energy, dimensions are going to remain same. Now, for mass, we are going to write m1, and this will be meter per second, that is l2 and t minus 2 because the power is 2. And this will give T1. So in all we get M1 L2 T minus 3. That is for power. Now similarly you can get uh, 
this quantity uh, dimensions for each and every quantity for example next we will look for k for k it will be m0 l0 t0 the reason why we are choosing all of them to be zero is k is some constant it has no dimensions constants don't have dimensions like 2 won't have any dimension 3 won't have any dimension 4 won't have any dimension so constants don't have any dimension h is a head and its dimension unit is meter and from that unit we can say that its dimension would be l1 next i'm going to look for is q that is discharge now uh, discharge is actually volume of fluid flowing per uh, volume of fluid flowing per unit time that is meter cube per second would be its unit and so L3 T minus 1 would be its dimension and W is rho into G formula and its dimension would be M1 M1 L minus 2 T minus 2 M1 L minus 2 T minus 2 so now we have dimensions of all the quantities and still if you find any difficulty in uh, how 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 to find the dimensions or what is this L and T you may need to look uh, see my video that uh, in introduces you to dimensional analysis this is a bit advanced concept and you need to know the basics for this now once you have this what we need to do is replace power with its dimension that is this would be now uh, step 4 now we will replace power that is uh, m1 l2 and t minus 3 is equal to k would be m0 l0 t0 and h would be l1 sorry h would be um l1 q would be l3 t minus 1 and w would be and w would be m1 l minus 2 and t minus 2 now now let us go back and see the exponentials h is raised to the power of a so this will be raised to the power of a q is raised to the power of b and this is raised to the power of c so you need to write the powers in this case also so we have simply replaced the uh, quantities with its dimensions in the above equation and now just just uh, simplify that m1 l2 t minus 3 is equal to m0 l0 t0 l raised to a l raised to 3b t raised to minus b and m raised to c l raised to minus 2c and t raised to minus 2c once the equation is formed all you need to do is to simplify it further that is um, m1 l2 t minus 3 and here it would be m raised to a that is only one a uh, sorry sorry it would be m raised to c the only c and this would be zero so it will run c plus zero is uh, c and l raised to a plus 3b and minus 2c and t raised to 0 and minus b and minus 2c so you got uh, mlt on the left hand side and also on the right hand side now all you need to do is compare the powers and that is c is equal to 1 a plus 3b minus 2c is equal to 
2 that is um, because over here and T is uh, sorry extremely sorry I'm making some mistakes in writing over here and minus 2 minus 2 C is equal to minus 3 is equal to minus 3 now C equal to 1 just put the value of C over here the C equal to 1 then minus P minus 2 is equal to minus 3 minus P is equal to minus 3 plus 2 then minus 1 and so P will be equal to 1 so these are the two results value of P and C once you have the value of P and C is 1 you will get 3B minus 2 that is 3 minus 2 is 1 so E plus 1 is 2 and E equal to 1 so you have values of all three A, B and C as A equal to 1, B equal to 1 and C equal to 1 all you need to do is to put them back put them back in this equation you need to put them back in this equation so power P is equal to K H raised to A Q raised to B and 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 W raised to C this was what the equation was and it will be K H raised to 1 Q raised to 1 and W raised to 1 and this is our final answer according to Rayleigh's method so I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you have any doubts you may ask me in the uh, comment section and I would be glad to assist you thank you